Are we doing the fusion thing today? Mm. Are we doing the fusion tutorial on how to animate polygon mass today? Mm. Sure, um, we could even the clone thing as a tutorial, as an example. All right, so let's hop into the Vinci Resolve, go to the Fusion tab, and let's head into the tutorial. So now we're in the Vinci Resolve, and here you can see that I have already two clips instead of the one continuous clip that I recorded this with. I have done already the work of aligning these two halves of the clip to make some sense out of this action of leaving the glass and the other character picking the glass. So that's already done. And I had to do some exposure changes because when I was filming the part on the right, which was literally half a minute after this one, because it's just one continuous clip, the clouds were coming. But anyway, that's not the point for today's tutorial. Let's go to set the opacity normally so we can work with both clips as they are. I'm going to select them both, right click and create a new fusion clip. And now when I open this in fusion, the clip that was on the bottom, it's already acting as my background and the clip that was on the bottom is this one and the clip that was on top it was acting is acting as the foreground. Let me place it like this. That looks a little bit clearer to me. So there we go. There we go. The question is why the media out is only showing the foreground. It's because well the foreground is on top of the background, and the background is just using everything pretty much. What we want to do then is to hide half of the foreground for some time. I'm gonna try to find the moment where the glass is being dropped on the table, which is about there. And that would be a good point, that's frame 63, to set our mask. I'm gonna change a little bit this proportion so I can create the mask outside of the frame as well. And to create the polygon mask, I want to create it on the merge node. And this is gonna be applied to this effect masked input, the blue triangle, and to do that, I can, of course, do the control space and search for polygon, but it's in one of these buttons. And this button here, as you can see, says polygon. Once I click the polygon, two things to notice. First is that we no longer see the foreground. That's because the mask is connected, but it doesn't exist yet, so it's not applying the foreground at all. The second interesting thing is that the shape of the polygon, it's already animated and it will use this frame to be setting a keyframe. So let's go ahead and create our polygon. And it's something like this, I believe. And to close the polygon, I just click on the very first point. And there we go. As you can see, this was not good enough because I did cut my head, which I didn't need to. And maybe I can bring this a little bit back. And as you can see by clicking, at a point, it allows you to move the point. By clicking at a segment, it allows you to add another point. And I'm going to remove this one because I don't need it. One thing that I would like to touch is the edge of the polygon, because as you can see, if I unselect it, this looks really rough. So I would like this to be a lot better. So I'm going to go and modify the soft edge of the polygon one, which is still in my inspector. And I believe that by putting this at 0 0.05, this looks quite all right. You can notice there's something there, but this could be shadows or the wall itself. Now you can see that we have this one keyframe. If I go to a different moment of the scene and I click on the polygon, we have here the keyframe. But the problem is that that glass of water is still there and we don't want to see that. So how to hide it? Let's animate the polygon itself. Let's go back to frame 63. This is all right. And now let's move to the point where the guy on the right starts to move his hand. And it's here. Now at this frame, the guy on the left is or has already released the glass totally. This one is reaching, so it would be a good moment to move What I'm going to do also is go a couple of frames back. 
so maybe frame 80 and I'm gonna set this as a keyframe on itself just by clicking at this rhomb void at, at the keyframe button and now let's go the couple of frames forward where we want this to disappear so what I'm gonna do now is move this to the left and this to the left and now the glass that we can see here it's from the clip on the right of the screen and now you can see that if I move this that's the polygon and now in these two frames it will shift this may be a bit too harsh so let me take this keyframe away from here and let's see is this good enough that polygon follows the hand quite a bit but it doesn't cover it which means that it looks all right let's unselect this and let's play this whole clip let me put this in a bit bigger so you can see it well uh, let's remove this from media one so it doesn't distract us here we come two classes on the table the polygon moved and this works quite all right funnily enough the warmer image i'm wearing the orange t-shirt the color image i'm wearing the blue t-shirt that was totally an accident and actually i think that when that polygon moves around it's almost like the shadow of the first character moves away so it works quite all right all right and now you have seen how to add a mask into a merge node you have seen how to add a polygon mask specifically to a merge node how to click create a polygon how to close it how to add points to a polygon and then how to animate those points remembering that by default they are animated already and if you are wondering why did i put these segments of the polygon outside of the frame it's because we are having the edges softened and it could bleed on top of the frame itself if we could have this in there we didn't want that so by putting them outside we make sure that this image is completely where we want it to be but there you go let's go back to the studio and let's close the video well this was really really simple we just had that one merge node and then we did animate the polygon to make this silly scene but hopefully you have enjoyed the video and learned something new if you have some suggestions on what would you like me to cover in the future about fusion in davinci resolve please let me know down below and if you like the video please like and subscribe and we're gonna see you soon for some more content